folk trying to sell you girls on the street. <laughs> you gotta be careful. I've been away for five days on the outback and I've just come back into the city. They know the tourists are nuts. They like a bit of massage here and there, so what they do is try to sell you all that crap. So, folk, just be very careful, very vigilant, and understand your whereabouts, and try and be smarter than the people here. Because if you try to stick to the nonsense you will be screwed if you try to follow a bit of foot massage you end up losing your wallet if not your balls so watch your what did you hear that massage <laughs> so watch your back watch your balls <laughs> you are crazy <laughs> did you hear that Daimaru, how are you? Did you hear that? He's offering me massage. Are you the one who's offering me massage? Huh? Are you the one who's offering me the massage? Not for me today. I've got my foot massage by walking hundreds and hundreds of kilometers. Inner Mongolia and so on and so forth. So yeah, it is, uh, it is a bit of a struggle always on this stretch of the street that people are constantly bothering you with massage and all that nonsense you know and uh, don't be fooled folk don't be fooled as I explained several times over that you might get really trapped with your two little ghoulies around your neck <laughs> yeah so just be careful where you end up with your massage. I have made these reports several times over. Every time I'm over here, I have made those. Watch the green, son. It's always the case that these guys try to sneak in and out all the time. I have found that the country is pretty interesting at the same time they like to sneak things all the time, left, right and centre.